couple of reasons why our snow totals will certainly be less than they have been the last few days. It took a while to get going today mid late morning really before it became all snow and then we've got a lull coming in as we head into the overnight which will reduce snow totals as well but we are in the thick of it right now couple of live cameras downtown we can't even see through them so we'll show you mount clemens as temperatures like howell 30 degrees that means the snow is going to be sticking to everything but port huron monroe detroit east siders if you will all still waiting for that cooler air to take shape. And remember, the worst of it is today, but the winter storm warning goes all the way through tomorrow. Tomorrow it's less snow, but more cold wind and blowing snow concerns. So there you have it. As we look at Storm Tracker 4 now, we are looking at Again, a couple of gaps or holes, light to moderate snow here, uh, but as we look a little farther out to the west, we're starting to see some of these dark bands, and those are not bueno. This is just indicating some of the heavier snow that's about to fold over into southeastern lower and really make things tricky travel wise. So just know that it certainly gets much worse before it gets any better. Between now and about 5 p.m. some of those heavier bands. So we're probably going to have four to six inches on the ground around most of Metro Detroit by 5 p.m. Again, some good news here that we get some flake breaks after midnight. Temps are going to tumble into the upper teens, but drier then snowier through the overnights. 23 degrees tomorrow and the snow will get going once again, maybe right during the Thursday morning drive. There's a look at that cold front, so all of this snow will just continue to pour in. Snow totals, again, down considerably from where they were, but you can see basically we're looking at 8 to 12 inches around Metro Detroit. And even though some of our model data is really down here, uh, this is additional snow that we are expecting. And we do think that parts of Livingston, Jackson, Genesee counties could get upwards of a foot when all is said and done. Again, probably looking at six to nine inches by midnight, another few inches possible tomorrow with a lull in the overnight ladies. And hopefully the road crews can catch up with things.